All right, fans, here we are. After the, the smoke and the dust have settled, we have uh, Ben Clymer joining us, head coach of Faith Christian, off their convincing win in the finals over Bristol. Uh, ben, five in a row. You know, this one any more special than any of the others? Uh, no, it, it is uh, it's special. We're grateful. Uh, the, the district championship is a, a stepping stone to be able to represent at, uh, at the state duel. So it's a special moment. Um, and I'm proud of the guys, proud of everyone that's put in time for us to get here. So it uh, it feels good. A little, little different kind of day where you, you – it's middle of the day on a Saturday. You drive down, you weigh in, you wrestle a match. Like, did that have any, any – any, like, was the preparation for that any different leading up to this? No, uh, there's, there's been a couple of different formats and, and uh, things that the guys have experienced, even with what they do in the off season, that uh, they're pretty programmed to – do a one hour way and whether it's morning whether it ends up being at night we do some things practice wise at different times of the day uh because the state tournaments kind of operates the same thing you go back to the hotel you come in back at noon or you come in at night so this nah, is like a uh, today for the triple a was like an old school like starting at 8 30 i remember yeah. we started at 8 a.m in the old arena yeah hershey arena and so for us it was a little different starting real early but yeah. um what's it going to be like now I think there's some big expectations for Faith Christian uh, and District 1 this year. Uh, you were talking about thinking maybe it's Reynolds out of the gate. It really doesn't matter who it is because I think your goal is to go up there and medal. You've got some uh, high ranking out there. PA Powers guy at number two, I believe. No, nice. number one now. Oh, uh, number one on the new Recent, rankings. Recently. Just, I, I, don't, I don't follow no that. Pressure. This is PAWrestling.com here. No pressure. Um, this is what we abide by. Yeah, yeah. so the, the ex I mean, but. You know what I'm saying. When last year yeah. we were talking about getting a win, and you went and you got a win, and, and you're you know it's building, building, building up. Now you're expecting that. Does that change things for for the team in terms of like you know going up there? It's going to be a little different this time. You you have to admit to that. A hundred percent. It it does change their their uh, their off season, their routine. You know how they attack. Uh, yeah, just their lifestyle and habits. And but that that was known coming into this year. And so it's been addressed in the off season and, and now going up there, uh, there's not a timidness. There's not like a, Oh my goodness, we have all this pressure. It's, it's been uh, premeditated and, and they're prepared and they're ready. And uh, I, I would say like one of the more impressive things about them, we try to invest a lot of time in making sure like wrestling is not our main identity. You know what I mean? That as a foundation will fail when, when you get injured, when you're not a starter, when different things happen and, and the team is bought into that mindset. Like Christ is a foundation. Your family's your foundation. So there's pressure. There's expectation. But I, I have no doubt that they, uh, they're going to handle it well because you know if it doesn't go our way, um, they're going to be all right. Man, you, and you have some so. mobility with your lineup, having sure. having the depth you have and the, the the high level talent, you know, that you can move around a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to help you, you know, up there. Uh, in some of those chess matches with some of those better teams because there's going to be some yeah. firepower up there. Yeah. Um, you know, and you've seen a lot of that all season long. So yeah. uh, I, I like the fact you're going to be able to insert guys and, and lose nothing there, you know, right. uh, and get an advantage at another weight. So uh, we're wishing you the best, man. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I look forward to representing you guys and, and all of District 1. And, uh, yeah, we can't wait. All right. Hey, well, one last thing. Tell us what, like, you know, Glenn touched on the the process and how you said it's there's not going to be the the butterflies getting there necessarily because it's it's now you've made an expectation of your program. Yeah. Uh, how does how does this week of preparation get there for it? You know, word is Con Wigan has not is not accepting their bid in, so you don't wrestle till Wednesday in Hershey, correct? That's correct. So yeah. you know what's what are next few days look like getting ready? Um, it, this part of the season is sort of like unique and fun in that, um, you know, you know where your conditioning's at, but now when you get to like game plan for Reynolds or for Notre Dame or for whoever it is, like you get to sort of like run your practice, make sure it's at a good enough pace that guys are cutting weight, you know, not that strenuous that, uh, you know, injuries could happen, but you get to pull somebody aside and go, you know, you're going to wrestle Buzakis. You, you're going to wrestle this guy very likely. Let's, let's be aware of this. This is where he steps. This is where he reaches. Uh, so you get to do some of those things and, and figure that chess, you know, chess match out. You really get to uh, break things down yeah, to the, little, the simplest form. A little yeah. film work, maybe? Yeah. Li little film work, something like that. But, uh, you know, really it's like you, you are who you are. We're not changing anything up. So practices are, are short, sweet, uh, intense enough, like I said, without too much of the potential for injury. Like, you know, uh, not a ton, a ton of live 
Um, but make sure your weight's good. A little bit of game plan. Don't overthink it. Go take care of business, man. So, so we'll you. finish with you know a little bit of, uh, not not necessarily wrestling related. Uh, beside your guys, who do you want to give a shout out to today? Uh, who else? Who else helped to make this possible? Uh, my wife would get the first shout out for sure. We got. We got three. You know, you got to make sure she watches this now. Yeah. Right? Joe, Joe just threw him a softball. Yeah, he just did. threw him a softball. I did. She's but now you got to make sure she watches it. <laughs> she's she scrolls a, to the end. She's a fan, man. She will be watching. Was she uh, here today? She's not. She she took the young kids up to New York to her parents okay. for a baby shower. Um, that helps pass the time by, too, when I'm not home. But uh, she's got three little kids under three years old. She's a, she's a superstar. So. I uh, would definitely like to thank my wife, the coaching staff, the school supportive. Uh, there's a long list of people to be grateful for. Okay. So. Awesome. Yeah. Ben, thanks for taking some time out of your, you know, with time with your team and celebrating. Uh, enjoy this one. Uh, and we can't wait to see how you represent District 1 uh, out of Hershey. Yeah, uh, see you on Wednesday, right. man. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks, Glenn.